video, I'm going to show you how to customize your YouTube player and how to embed your video on your web page. Now you could just go to YouTube and then scroll down to the section beneath your video and click on share and then embed and grab the embed code here. But YouTube doesn't provide any easy options for customizing your player, like making your video autoplay, like changing the theme, or removing the title bar, or removing the controls. Let me demonstrate a new tool that I think you're going to find very useful. The tool is called the YouTube Embed Code Generator. Okay, now we're going to go down here, start by entering our first name, and then we'll need to get our video ID. Now to do this, we'll need to go back to YouTube and find the video that you want to place on your page. Then go up here to the address bar of your browser, and you'll see it says youtube.com slash watch v or video equals and then there's the ID code. All we need to do is copy the ID code that is shown after the equal sign. So we don't want to include the equal sign, but we're going to include all the code that's after the equal sign. And then we're going to right click and select copy. Now I've copied this video ID code to this YouTube video to my clipboard. And that's really all I need from YouTube. Now I can go back to the embed code generator. And what I'm going to do is paste in the video ID code into this field here. Now let's take a look at some of these parameter settings. The first here is embed code. Now you can keep the default, which is embedding the code as an object. And you'll want to use this option if you're embedding your video on an iPodium's powered landing page. The other option is to embed your video within an iframe. Now you may experience some problems with the iframe option if you're using a web page builder to embed your video. So if you want to play it safe, just use the object embed code. Next option here is protocol, HTTP for a non-secured web page and HTTPS for a secured web page. This default should work on both a secured and non-secured web page. But for any reason you want to keep this standard HTTP protocol, just select this option. Next we have dimensions. Now there's two different types of formats. There's 16.9, which is widescreen, high def format. And then there's 4.3, which is the standard non-widescreen format. Here's an example of a standard non-widescreen format. You can see the video has more of a squared look like the old tube television sets with black bars on both sides. This is still known as standard definition, even though today the widescreen format and high definition is really the new standard that most videos are created today. The one that we're going to embed is in a widescreen 16.9 format. So with our embed code generator, we're going to choose the different size options next to 16.9. Otherwise, if our video was not widescreen, we would use the options next to the 4.3 aspect ratio. For now, we're just going to keep the default size next to the 16.9 aspect ratio. Next, we have autoplay. The default is no. Now, if you want your video to play automatically as soon as your page loads, you'll want to select yes. Next, you have the option of removing the title bar at the top of the video. And you can also remove the control panel underneath the video. This way, when someone mouses over your video, they won't be able to skip ahead and fast forward to a different section of the video because the controls would be hidden. For now, I'm just going to keep the default settings. And finally, we have the theme setting where there are two options that affect the control panel. Now, if you have the controls removed, then this option won't really matter too much. But if you have selected to keep the controls, you can choose from dark, which is the default, or the light option. Okay, so I've kept most of the default settings except for autoplay. I turned autoplay on. So let's go ahead and generate the code. Okay, and so there's our code that we just generated. Now we can highlight the code and copy it to our clipboard. Now, if you're using Internet Explorer like I am, you may get this pop-up asking you if you want to allow access to your clipboard. Just click allow access. And then it says your YouTube code has been copied to your clipboard. And then you can just go ahead and paste it wherever you like. Now I can paste my embed code into the HTML source section of any web page I want. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to embed your video into an iPodium's powered landing page. Okay, so I'm here in my Blast Page Builder, and I want to add a video to my lead capture page. So I'm going to place it in my Message 1 edit box. Now, I like to put it in between these two lines of text. Now, here's the best way to do that. First, I'm going to do is put my cursor at the end of the top text, then hit the Enter key to create a paragraph break. Now, that's where I want my video to appear, right where that cursor is blinking. So I'm going to type in video here as a placeholder. Then I'm going to go up here to the HTML button and switch to the HTML source code. Now the video here placeholder will help me know where to place my embed code within the rest of the source code. Now if you can't find the phrase video here, what I do is just put the cursor somewhere in the box and then hit Control F. Type in video here 
and it will automatically highlight that placeholder phrase. Now I can just right click on the phrase video here and replace it with my embed code by pasting it in. Now my custom embed code is exactly where I want it to be. Now before I save changes, I'll have to switch back to text mode. And there's my video. It's playing automatically. I'll pause it. And it's right where I placed it. Right above this line of text and right below this text. Okay, so let's see what it looks like on the actual lead capture page. I'm going to scroll down. Save changes. Okay, my video is playing again automatically, so I'm going to go back down here to message one and pause it. Just click on it. And then I'm going to go up here and click on this link to view my page. Okay, so here's my page with my video playing automatically. I'm going to pause it. And that's how easy it is to embed a custom YouTube player on your web page. Now, underneath this video, there should be a way for you to access the embed code generator. I hope this video and this tool helps make your landing pages even more powerful. Also, please feel free to leave a comment and be sure to share this tool with others. As always, thank you for watching.